let's go. Okay guys, so this is gonna be a quick one. Basically on Quora I got requested for an answer to review one of the app UI. And I was like, yeah, why not? But I'm just gonna do that on a video because that's gonna be so much quicker for me to go through and uh, review what you have there. All right, let's see what this app is about. It's taking quite some time. Okay. Well, well, well. I guess first thing from UI perspective, I guess most of this review is gonna be UI driven. Um, and it's purely because um, not, a, you know, I can't really emphasize it for users or understand who is designed for apart from just kind of critiquing the visual side of things and first thing first uh, so app icon doesn't really align with the rest of the designs or at least presentation of this marketing material um, and I think maybe introducing some of that rainbow in the background around the screens because you're already including some elements to represent with red hand maybe some swirls around or, or a background to be covered in white and you know with that kind of color maybe that would make sense um, otherwise it's a bit disjointed because that icon doesn't really match what's in the app at least from what's what's in the marketing material in, in all that thing and so let's see what the app is about never miss a thing blah 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 yada 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 so you can basically a lot of different jargon and generic copy so i guess copy could be improved too but that's you know that's not something i want to dive deep dive into right now but i guess you can just vote on different things and see what people like i guess that's the basic explanation okay let's let's go and get this app to see what it's about inside done <coughs> And while it's installing, I guess it would be good to kind of see what the main messages are here for. Okay, you can favor your topics, your favorite topic. Okay, so this is grammar mistakes. You should probably update that if like your favorite topics. And exclamation mark is really not needed because you're not shouting at them. Swipe to see all the choices. Interesting. I can see already some mistakes in the UI, uh, which can be fixed really quickly, um, and it's purely from font legibility, uh, colors, and things of that nature, which I'm going to pick up once we open the app, when it's installed. Cool. Let's jump right into it. Notifications. Nope. Okay, that's pretty neat, I guess, except... The sliding elements, the bubbles on top, should really be down below. That's where you would expect them. That's some one of those patterns where users are already used to. You don't need to reinvent the wheel. Also, this screen is not really consistent with the rest of the things, nor what we saw before. Maybe with the app icon, but really it seems like two different apps. Um, and that start button is way too small, especially as a primary call to action on it. So maybe a good idea would be to increase the size and, and make it bigger, you know, full width perhaps. I mean, this is a, you want people to convert and, and do it, right? Okay, the text, I can see the font is not consistent with what's inside the app. Let's select the options and ask any questions. Um, it's good that you onboard people from UX standpoint because uh, it seems like you need to since it's a new app, but I think you're overcomplicating things here, especially giving all the detail. It's too much to read, too much to focus on. It's a bit too early for users to grasp what you are about and what, what you want them to do. And onboarding usually works only if it's really simple and it's memorable. And this um, I would just forget right away. Let's just jump in. Okay, hi. That's great. Again, visuals not consistent. You should 
stick to either one style or um, you know something interchangeable which still works together it seems like you copy different styles across and I like this you know it's it's fun and everything but then you need to implement in different areas and maybe make your app icon which again doesn't doesn't really go under the same brand so the brand isn't consistent um, and the majority of users are not gonna pick up but after some time they're gonna get tired of you bombarding them with different visual elements and different messaging all right mobile phone that's well that's a bummer do you really need my mobile phone really and how do I go back if I can't if I don't want to provide you a mobile phone Huh, well, that's that's one of those big UX issues because you don't really allow to cancel or go back. If user clicks and start, they are basically stuck in this screen, and I don't really have a you know back button visible in Android, which is a bummer. And I guess you're defaulting to your country. However, it would be nice if you would select if you would detect by the agent by user ID uh, their address and you can default that to that for example for me it could be UK um, next thing is it's really bad dark pattern to just lock people in because that's neat that you default the keyboard to mobile number what happens if I click oh okay I didn't, didn't even need to put any number but it says it's sent verification code Okay, well, what happens if I just put random stuff? Nope, doesn't work. Okay, so I guess we're stuck here in this specific thing. Well, that's the thing. I think you shouldn't gatekeep that app so much. I mean, social login like Facebook, Twitter is already asking a lot from users. But mobile phone, I mean, they don't even know what, what the app is about. Allow them to at least experience some of it before asking to update the mobile number. It's, it's asking for way too much, way too soon. And I'm afraid that that's where your, most of your users are just gonna delete the app. They're just gonna access it and delete it. Um, and it's not about UI skills, it's pure UX because this is really bad experience. I think you need to rethink this gatekeeping methods and I understand you want to collect your numbers maybe to upsell different features market things but um, dude it's not ideal and I think you need to allow them to at least register and join right away experience yeah and then be maybe contextual sort of build up and, and you know um, over time you can ask for permission to do more but this this is definitely an overkill and I can't really go back. So that's that's where I'm probably gonna stop. But I think, I hope it gave you some ideas of how to improve this and some ideas of areas to target. Again, I think the major bits which you should improve on is, let me try to launch it again, is the visual consistency. You have one style for your uh, app icon, you have one style for this screen where you land, you have other style for uh, marketing material and images on App Store, and then you have other styles here and different forms. I would stick to one to two typefaces maximum, a few color, pick simplest palette, pick the motive of is it gradients, is it solid colors, is it pictures like that, like big photos. Um, don't overcrowd these screens too much. I would just make one message because now you're making like several different actionable points per screen, which is not really a good approach. People are not gonna remember that. Bigger star button, uh, sequencing and the bubbles, the bullets on top, which you indicate the steps, should definitely go down below. And yeah, and once you click start, they shouldn't be they shouldn't see this as this is again inconsistent and it doesn't really align well 
and we should just go straight into the app because I mean you already got their permission if they installed it you don't need them to see this and to be locked in into one view so again I hope this is helpful I hope this is helpful for those who actually seen it and they're not part of this app maybe we're gonna give you ideas of how to improve your own apps um, or install this one and play through but yeah hope you liked it hope it's helpful